Hey guys, Accurace here. Welcome back to the Outer Worlds Part 6. So, we just took off Left Edge Water in the space dust behind our ship. And uh, Dr. Phineas Wells is looking to talk to us. So, we're going to answer his hail. Say good, I've been waiting to hear from him. Ah, there you are. Hale and hearty and captain of your own ship. I see you're putting the unreliable to good use. Shame about her former captain. Horrible way to die. How are you feeling, by the way? I lost track of you in that cave back there. Experiencing any, uh, unnatural drippage? Perfectly normal side effect of thawing, I assure you. Uh, unnatural drippage? <laughs> I get the point, Phineas. I've been feeling a little lightheaded. Also, I can slow down time. Let's do the second one. Oh, that, yes, um, that's probably permanent. I wouldn't worry about it, though. I'm sure you're fine. What you saw in Emerald Vale is happening all across the colony. Food shortages, lack of supplies, and basic necessities. We're dying. The chairman, the minister, and all their lackeys on the board are to blame. The Hope has some of the brightest minds Earth ever sent us. If we can revive the Hope's colonists, they can help us undo the board's mistakes. They can help us set things right. You need to get to Stellar Bay on Monarch. I have contacts there. They'll help me, uh, help us, find the chemicals to revive your fellow colonists. Gladys Kelly, lovely woman, runs a cozy little black marketing outfit on the ground breaker. She can get you a nav key to land on Stellar Bay. All right, fine. I'll have a word with Gladys. Why do you need a nav key to land on a planet? Slow down, you're asking me to get involved in the black market? Or I could put a couple light years between me and the hal Halcyon. Can I land somewhere outside Stell Stellar Bay? Hmm. Why do I need a nav key to land on the planet? That's the question I'm thinking is most relevant. Strictly speaking, Monarch is a moon. Terraformed badly. And almost completely lawless. You'll love it. Captains don't fly their own ships, you see. Your navigation terminal handles the, uh, you know, navigation. Think of a nav key as a set of flight instructions. The board's been confiscating nav keys for Stellar Bay, so we must rely on unconventional means of acquisition. Hence, Miss Gladys Kalkelly. If I don't have a word with Gladys, right, the Black Marketeer, what's stopping me from just leaving Halcyon altogether? That's a good question. And can't I land somewhere on Stellar Bay? What's stopping me from leaving Halcyon altogether? Without a skip drive? Good luck. You'll be dead before you make it to the nearest star. Look, I admire your optimism, but the sad truth is you're stuck here. You, me, and the rest of this colony. We're all skating precariously around the edge of oblivion together. None of us are leaving Halcyon alive, so we may as well make it a better place. And we can start by reviving the hope. Well, you just got to an answer for everything, don't you? It kind of makes sense to uh, begrudgingly admit. Fine. I have a word with Gladys. About this Gladys person, how do I know I can trust her? That's a good question. Gladys and I have been doing business for years. Her smuggling credentials are unimpeachable. If anyone can get you a key to Monarch, it's her. Okay, I don't like the idea of working with a criminal... Fine, I'll have a word with Gladys. Excellent. I'll send her a wireless. Let her know you're coming. By the way, I gave Captain Hawthorne a disguise apparatus of my own design. Cutting-edge technology years ahead of its time. I call it the Holographic Shroud. I'm sure it will prove remarkably useful to you. You'll find it in the Captain's quarters. I'll put it to good use, thanks. You want to explain what a Holographic Shroud is? Yeah, apparently, let's see here. Let's let's have him explain it. Marvelous device. I'm quite proud of myself. The shroud changes the user's appearance to mimic that of another. It has limits. First generation technology, you see, but promising. Exciting to see it in use at last. Very simply, the holographic shroud uses biometric information contained on standard identity cartridges to generate a holographic projection around you turns me into a chameleon is what you're saying I'll put to good use you mentioned this thing has limitations people actually fall for this seems far-fetched 
You mentioned it has limitations. That seems important. Only stands up to a casual scrutiny. Use it too long, bound to flicker, blur, something like that. Movement makes it more likely. Best used in moderation. When you see guards in your path, you can't sneak past, for example. Maintain your distance. Act normal. No running, no jumping. Don't draw their attention. If they pay attention, they're more likely to notice flaws in the hologram. Why do I need a gadget for this? Can I just steal a uniform or something? That's a good question. That's a good use. People will actually fall for this. Seems far-fetched. Yeah, why do I need a gadget for this? <laughs> a change of clothes. What is this? Some old spy serial? What inattentive and brainless guard would be fooled by such a shabby disguise? The holographic shroud masks not only your clothes, but your face and fingerprints. It modulates your voice and sweetens your breath. Wait a minute, so it doesn't stand up to intense, detailed, like, close-up scrutiny, but it changes my fingerprints enough so that, like, that's not close-up scrutiny. Okay, how the hell does this hologram sweeten your breath? Puts it good to use, thanks. People actually fall for this. Let's do the sweeten your breath. How does it sweeten your breath? Science, that's how. People actually fall for this? Seems far-fetched. <laughs> the beauty is they don't expect it. The Shroud is the only one of its kind. We humans have a tendency to overlook the unexpected. Activate the disguise, walk past someone. What do they see? A figure dressed like a fellow employee. Don't act odd. They won't focus on you. So this is a prototype. This is like, wow, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to steal this, get it patented, and make my millions. Excellent. What's a good use? I'll contact you once you've found a way to get to Stellar Bay. If you have any questions, come see me in my lab. And remember, don't trust the board. They'll try to win you over with promises of wealth and power, but it's a lie. The board's only interested in filling their own pockets. If we don't put a stop to them, they're going to run this colony to the ground. Transmission ended. If you are ready to depart, please select a destination on your navigation terminal. Got it. Where's my navigation terminal? Is that it? Oh, this has got to be it. Let's go get that shroud thing we were talking about. Is it a mission? Drew the holographic shroud. Yeah, that's what I want. It's upstairs. Okay. Looks like it's upstairs. Holographic. Well, we've already gone through all what it does. Okay. What's this? Terminal. Messages for Alex Hawthorne. Hawthorne's un unread message. From Bedford. Oh, I forgot to mention the previous message. Silly me! I'm mailing you a copy of my favorite serial. Space Adventures of Singularity Steel. About a dashing young tire. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, I'm not interested in that. Uh, you guys can read that if you want to. Archive message. All right, doesn't seem too important. I'm just skimming through these real quick, see if there's anything that looks somewhat important. Waste a lot of time on these. All right. Oh, we have skill points available. Yay. Yay for skill points. They just keep throwing these at us like crazy, don't they? Let's up our stealth. Uh, I don't know. Hmm. We're pretty low there. I think we might need this. So let's start up in this a little bit. There we go. That might come in handy later on. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Journal. What's new here? Looks like we're good. Alright, let's head on down. Enter in. 
our destination on the nav computer. Oh, wow, this is neat. So that's where we need to go, Groundbreaker. Can't go to these yet. I don't think. Monarch. Let's go here first. The docking base? Sure. There we go. Welcome to the system map. Here you can see all the planets in the system as well as some special points of interest that you may have discovered. You can fly your ship to any location that you've unlocked. Though some landing base require special codes and keys before they allow you to land there. Moving between planets is considered extremely dangerous and all employees are encouraged to remain home or at work. Breaker has approved our request for docking, Captain. You're free to disembark. Right, let's back. see if she has anything else to say. How can I be of assistance? I'm in the mood for some entertainment. Oh, I got a minute. To, got a minute to talk. I'd like to learn more about the colony. Yeah, let's find out about the colony. What part of the colony would you like to discuss? Phineas Orbital uh, Lab. As Doctor Wells is a wanted outlaw, he built his laboratory into an asteroid. Orbital destinations can be challenging to land on. His more so than most. What do you know about Phineas? There's a bounty on his head. One with a markedly high reward amount. Shall I engage the laser weapon system? What? The laser weapon system? No, don't do that. A sensible choice, as we do not have any laser weapons. No. Yeah. Why'd you say the landing might be rough? The outlaw scientist known as Dr. Phineas V. Wells has taken a measure of precautions to make the lab undetectable to those hunting him. Even knowing the location, my systems resist my orders to go where I instruct them. I want to ask about something else. Of course. What part of the colony would you like to discuss? The groundbreaker. We're free to dock with the groundbreaker if that's your desired destination. If we're going there, please be sure all docking forms have been filed in triplicate and fees have been paid. The Mardettes take their docking laws quite seriously. Um, you take you take can take care of that force, right? Give me the spiel on the groundbreaker. Uh, you take care of that for us, right? Yes. Let me add that to my list of one million four hundred thirty-five thousand four hundred ninety-eight tasks I am simultaneously executing in order to run our ship. Great, thanks. Oh, and do it without the lift. Order does not compute. Nevertheless, I will endeavor to execute my current and future tasks without. Lip. Good. Give me the spiel on the groundbreaker. The groundbreaker was Halcyon's original colony ship. It has since been repurposed as a service station in the Lagrange point of the system. Freighters often deliver or pick up goods from the groundbreaker en route to other destinations. The city ship hosts an array of cargo bays, factories, housing sections, and more. Many of Halcyon's companies maintain office spaces with stationed representatives in what is considered a truly neutral territory within the system. I have filed the required docking forms in triplicate, and fees have been paid. Okay, well, that sounds like a freaking paradise. Let's talk about something else. I'm in the mood for some entertainment. Certainly, Captain. What would you like to hear? Tell me a joke. Why are obtuse angles so depressed? Because they are never right. Wow. When you start busting out the geometry jokes, you're really scraping the bottom of the barrel. Play a song. Now playing a Spacer's Choice advertisement jingle. Oh, please don't. It's not the best choice. It's Spacer's Choice. Never do that again. That's not my favorite song. Everyone is contractually obligated to label this or another board certified jingle their favorite song. Okay, that's enough for now. Captain, I must comply with all direct orders. Got a minute to talk? Lots of minutes. Many minutes. Unlimited minutes, perhaps. Providing an adequate power source, I can function indefinitely. 
if you don't have a power source? I prefer to think of it as being in a state of slumber, perhaps for an indefinite duration of time. Do you think that is what it's like for the colonists on the Lost Hope? Don't try to change the subject. I guess so. I couldn't myself in such a scenario. I do not find it to be desirable. I think my self-preservation protocols incline me to desire the alternative. And what might that be? Yeah, I bet they do. Uh, I, I'll just bet they do. Okay. What might that be? Traveling the system with you, Captain. Oh. What about your last captain? Do you miss him? Or is one captain the same as another? Didn't help your last captain much. Let's ask her if she misses him. Do you know what it feels like when the ship undergoes an unexpected power surge? A jolt to the system. I have felt that. I do feel that. As you may be aware, Captain Alex Hawthorne was a smuggler of some repute. I failed to predict the likely outcome of his reckless behavioral patterns. I should have predicted that. In our travels together, Alex liked to pass time by, as he called it, tinkering to improve my design. He molested you, Ada. And, uh, don't feel too bad, because you can't fix stupid. Have there been other captains of the ship? We both know I'm not Alex Hawthorne, right? Let's talk about something else. Um, have there been other captains of the if ship? you mean, was Captain Hawthorne my first? Yes, he was. Let's talk about something else. How can I be of assistance? I'll talk to you later. I request you do not wake me if I am sleeping upon your return. What? That's weird. Okay. It's an odd way to end a conversation with a computer. Can we talk? Man, you just look like you're all comfy. Settled in nicely. Yeah. Hey, Captain. I heard the Groundbreakers got a real good engineer. A lady named June Lay Tennyson. What about her? She can't be that good. This place is a dump. Is this urgent or can it wait? She can't be that good. This place is a dump. If I had to fix a station this big, I'd be spending all my time trying to figure out what needs doing now and what can wait. I was thinking that maybe I ought to meet her. If you got time to swing us by, I mean. I don't got much experience fixing actual spaceships. I bet you a can of Borston beans she could teach me all manner of stuff. Sure we could head over to engineering now. I thought you said you could keep this boat in good repair. Are you asking to leave my crew and join hers? I don't think she'd be much help, but if you happen to, <clears throat> but if you happen to be along, feel free to speak up. Yeah, we'll head on over there and talk to her. Maybe I'll up her skills. Thanks, Captain. I'll be sure to make it worth your time. Did you want to talk about something else? I think it's time for you to move along, Pavarotti, or Parvati. Break time's over. There we go. Okay. Um, yeah. All right, I'm ready to roll out. Let's see what's here. Uh, yeah, we'll take those two since that's the only ones we can select. Hmm, okay. Let's take a look here at the map. Local map. Huh, okay. Let's talk to this person. Just checking your ship's manifest. Standard procedure. Welcome to Groundbreaker, by the by. All right. That's not the point. This half would just knock out one of my workers. Yeah, with a toss ball stick, I heard you the first time. There weren't any witnesses. No witnesses? He's not even denying it. Jackass had it coming. Shut it, Felix. You're not making this any better. You get you with me again, you little back bay brat, I will toss you out an airlock. This is the groundbreaker, not Byzantium. You ain't the law here. I am. Now move along. I don't have time for this. I need a drink. Going for a stroll around the docking base? Notice that you were in the middle of an argument earlier. Sure was. Got a knack for upsetting the board and the Mardettes all at once. Between you and me, I was hoping they'd come to fisticuffs. I'd like to hear your side. What happened? I heard you knock someone out with a toss ball stick. It's almost like you wanted to get arrested. That guard threatened to toss you out of an airlock. 
Uh, I'd like to hear your side. What happened? I had this foreman, right? Guy never liked me. Always trying to get a rise out of me. But I keep my chin up, right? Be the bigger man, I tell myself. He's a spacer's chosen man, though. So when the chosen beat my rangers the other night, my foreman comes swaggering up with his head full of boasting. And that's when you resolved your differences like an adult, right? <laughs> oh boy. So you defended your honor of your team. Uh, you gotta go with the first one. That's when I broadsided him with a toss ball stick. Yeah. Look, this was a long time coming. Guy thinks he can push me around because he's some sky-high foreman and I'm just a back bay's dock worker. Well, former dock worker. Guess I just tendered my resignation. Well, yeah, that's kind of how it works with a boss-employee relationship. Got any plans? Sounds like you're better off on your own. Just lucky you're not serving a sentence. Yeah, what's your plans? Enjoy my freedom. Scrounge together enough bits for a zero-G. Other than that, can't say as I do. Hey, not for nothing. But I saw you wander out of that ship over there by the dock. Wouldn't happen to be yours, would it? That's me, Captain of the Unreliable. Technically, previous captain died in a horrible accident. Why do you ask? Uh, why do you ask? Oh, just musing is all. Must be nice having the run of the colony. Never being anchored to one place, always chasing some horizon. Hey, I don't want to tuck your ears off, guessing you got places to be. I appreciate your time. He seems all right. I mean, apart from his tendency to resolve conflicts violently, which I kind of do too, I guess. Never caught your name, I'm Charlie Zim. You're in a hurry to get somewhere. Let's see. Uh, I, I know his name. It's Felix. It's right there on the top. It's right here. Uh, you're in a hurry to get somewhere? Uh, not at all. Just, uh, you know, going to figure out what to do next. See you around, boss. Going for a stroll around the docking base? Hmm. Okay. Where do we need to go? This way. I'm going to talk to Mardette here. Just arrived. Head over to customs. Wheeler needs to process you. Customs and inspection, right this way. I just want the. I just want the credit for discovering it. Apparently, I don't get experience points for that anymore. Leonard Wheeler. Hi, buddy. Identification, please. Present Hawthorne's ID. Here you go. My name's Charlie Zim. It's my first time here. Say hypothetically, I don't have an ID. What happens then? Everybody's got an ID. Oh, let me guess. You uh, left it in your other pants? <laughs> I hear that one a lot. No, I got my big boy pants on. Present Hawthorne's ID. Captain Hawthorne, you said. Well, let me apologize in advance. I'm about to ruin your day. According to your ship's record, you've been flagged by the board. Your ship will be impounded until such a time as they see fit to lift it. Uh, so I'm stuck here? Take it back. I'm not Hawthorne. This isn't my ship. <laughs> so I'm stuck here. How did I get this resolved? You'll want to take it up with Udom Bedford, our board representative here on Groundbreaker. His office is located along the starboard wall of the promenade. Shines like a Byzantium commode. You can't miss it. The idea when my ship was impounded? Access to that information is above my pay grade, and I've turned down three promotions, so it stays that way. Smart man. I be mentioning it, but what the hell? This here, impounding your ship? It doesn't happen much. The board knows we don't take kindly to their interfering in our operations. If I had to take a guess as to why, you must have riled up someone important. That's what I do. Great. I'll go talk to him and straighten this out. This has to be a mistake. I'm going to wring this Bradford's guy's neck. You take the starch out of him, well, you won't hear any complaints from me. Oh, and if you're headed that way, would you mind doing me a favor? What? You mean you impound my ship and now I have to do you a favor? I'm not going to do your job for you. Uh, sure. Wanda Dorset, he seems all right. Bay, tell her the shipment's not in yet. It's not coming in anytime soon, and if she'd be so obliged to get off my ass about it. Roger. Her shipment. A handful of Sam cleaning units retrofitted for surgery. I don't know much else. I stopped listening when she started yelling. Got it. Much appreciated. Is there anything else I can help you with? Looking for somebody named Gladys. Can I find a job around here? Can you tell me about Udon Bedford? Seems like there's some tension between board and groundbreaker. I'm looking for someone named Gladys. Vince. You'll find her in the rest and go. On your left when you enter the promenade. Make sure you bring an empty belly. That sounds pretty good. Looking for a drink. Any recommendations? Most places are on the promenade deck. Big door yonder. Straight through security. 
There's a bar on the starboard side. I got a preference for the Lost Hope myself. Talk to Vera. She'll set you right. Okay. Suddenly I'm craving a drink. I got a few bottles of Guinness in the refrigerator. I think uh, I might have to treat me. I'm looking at the clock. It's 25 minutes into the episode. You need anything else? You let me know. Don't want anyone saying Groundbreaker's not the most hospitable port in the colony. Yeah, so I'm gonna... Uh, I'm not gonna just get up in the middle of this episode and get one, but man, when this episode's over, I'm having me a Guinness. Can I find a job around here? Maybe. Most of the shipping traffic in the system passes through Groundbreaker. Every couple of months, we even get a big interstellar freighter. Two biggest operations are the board. That is, Halcyon Holdings and Sublight Salvage. But there are independent operators around the promenade deck. Most of those jobs are gonna take you off station, though. Okay. Looking for something a little more local. Commandant Sanita might have a couple of folks she needs killed. Bad folks, I mean. Not, uh, not regular folks. She'll be at the security desk behind me. Chief Jun Lei might have an errand needs running. She's all tied up trying to fix our heat problem. You'll find her in engineering. How about something long term? If you're thinking to make a career here, don't waste your time. Full time jobs on Groundbreaker tend to be inherited or go to a fellow crew member's kid. Keep it in the family, you know. I think inherited and going to a crew member's kid is the exact same thing, but whatever. How does Halcyon holding work anyway? Are you pulling my leg? I'm new around here. I just want to hear your take on it. Just fooling you, of course, you know how the board works. I'm new around here. be one of them long haul freighters from outside the colony. Well, I won't hold it against you. It goes like this. Back on Earth, before the crossing, the powers that be were selling off stakes in distant star systems they thought had potential. A bunch of companies decided to throw in together and form the Halcyon Holdings Corporation, then buy up the rights to this here colony. That group's what we now call the board. Okay. Makes sense. Board runs most of the system then, don't they? Okay. How does a groundbreaker fit into that? So it's actually a boardroom somewhere with all these company heads in it. Yeah, let's ask that last one. Sitting around drinking whiskey and smoking cigars, yeah, probably. Can't say for sure, of course. Doubt I'll ever see the inside of it myself. The board runs most of the systems, don't they? Yep. Groundbreaker's the only real independent port. Aside from us, there's just tramp freighters and wildcat miners. Seems like every year the board's offices get bigger and their ships take up more of the landing bays. Haven't seen nearly as many tramp crews this year. How's Groundbreaker fit into that? Groundbreaker was one of the original colony vessels to come over on the crossing. A few years before her sister ship, the Hope. Once everybody had been dethawed and dropped dirt side, the original crew of the Groundbreaker decided they rather liked the spacefaring life. I guess that was the start of our independent spirit. Now here we are. Mm, got Not it. Okay. Didn't think there were many independent operators in the system. What do you know about Sublight Salvage? Let's ask about the independent operators. Relative to the board holdings? Not really. But there's a few with the means to go where they will. They aren't rich, but they aren't likely to look too close at your work history either. What do you know about sublight salvage? They strip the parts from derelict ships and abandoned outposts. There's some that say they make the derelicts and encourage folks to abandon their steads. Sublight gives me the creeps. I've known folks who went to work for them and just vanished. They're on the promenade run by a woman named Lilia Hagen. I'm only telling you so you know to avoid them. Huh, okay. All right. What can you tell me about Udom Bedford? He's friendly enough unless you speak ill of the board. Get the sense he doesn't care for Groundbreaker much. Not that he would, being a board man and all. He's our liaison. Man, he must have pissed somebody off to end up on the Groundbreaker then. Sounds like a fun guy, so there's tension between Groundbreaker and board. They can't abide an independent township, especially not one they got to depend on. We're the first and last stop out of this colony. All their interstellar freighters come through us, and we skim a few bits off the top and manifest processing fees with every one. Folks around here will bluster that the board hates our freedom, but really, they know we can stop their out-system shipments anytime we like, and that terrifies them. A good old embargo is what you can do. Okay. Yeah, your station, station's in a state of disrepair could make the board fix it why can't groundbreaker and the board just work together i'm glad it terrifies them the bastards keep pushing them sounds complicated 
Yet your station's in a state of disrepair. You could make the board fix it. Yeah, that's a good one. You mean the heat? Sure, we could make them fix it. But what would they do in retaliation? They got assault cruisers, gunships, and a handful of mining operations at their fingertips. We push them too hard, maybe they decide we'd be better in 10 trillion little pieces. Or they cobble together a new groundbreaker and put us out of business. Yeah, that's a pretty smart thing. Sure thing. All right. Seeing you. I'll see you around, but brother. All right, he's all right. Go this way. Yes, I can. Okay, we got a couple. Looks like we got some quests here. We got solution vital. Uh, talk to her, sick Tay, uh, Bay about her shipment. And then we got. Yeah, we, we need to introduce uh, Parvati to the engineer. And look at the security terminal. And then we have talk to Udom and speak to Gladys. Let's start off by. Let's see how far that one is. She's right here. Okay, that's not too far. I picked up this weird signal the other day. It was coming from Monarch. Yeah. In here? I don't think so. How do I get over there? This is Halcyon Noon. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. You need to pay the bills somehow. Steel mock apple. Yeah. I'll pass on that. Is this a big door? This kind of looks like a big old door. Oh, it is. Whoa! Rizzo's Check this place out. A soft, sour candy shell around a sweet purple berry flavored center. It's like it. It. miniature future Las Vegas I just walked into. Las Vegas Strip. Hey, Moon Man. What the hell is this thing? Well, sorry about the heat. Chief Tennyson will get the radiators fixed soon. Of course, this heat sure makes a zero G brew extra refreshing. It's an ale that's good for what ails you. Oh, and it's not the best choice, it's Spacer's choice. Taste the freedom. A lot of slogans to keep track of. Sometimes I forget. You work for Spacer's Choice? Ever been to Edgewater? Let's see what you got for sale. I'd ask you about the hat. Which hat? That one? The head or the hat? What do you sell here? You work for Spacer's Choice. Heard Never been to Edgewater. My orientation aether wave showed that famous Saltuna cannery, which I'm sure smells as good as it looks. <laughs> it's not bad. They're struggling, but they've got good hearts. You aren't missing much as a dump. Uh, let's not run them down too much. Uh, it's a spacious choice, beer. Take what you have, polish it up, and make the best of it. So, what can I get you? Some soap. Everyone loves soap. Everyone will love you for using it, too. This is like Eeyore personified. Let's see what you got for trade. I gotta ask you about the hat. I'm bound to satisfy headgear-related inquiries. Please send any complaints to our consumer care headwear division. You doing all right in there? Speak up, I can't hear you. We're gonna get a hat like yours, enough hat talk. Let's see what you're selling. Where do I get a hat like yours? You would never ask if you knew what it's like in here. I mean, Ooh. why anyone can be a Touched space nerve. choice consumer relations choice specialist. Just keep your nose clean and aim for the moon. Uh, yeah, he's got some issues. You doing all right in there? Having a stellar day, and not just because I'm legally obligated to say so. Almost as stellar as a spacer's choice is affordable. Can you see in there? I can see all of the top quality merchandise in the spacer's choice catalog, which is available here at a reasonable price. How do you brush your teeth? Spacer's choice regrets that we don't sell toothpaste at this time. But we're always working on delivering exciting new products to our customers. Sprat wash, mouth wash, and manta floss are among the exciting line of dental goods currently in development. Well, that advertisement was of a non-answer, wasn't it, to the question. Do you miss eating solid foods? Don't miss out on these deals. You'll find none like them on all a Groundbreaker or anywhere in the Halcyon Colony. You have to sleep with that on? Trouble sleeping? 
dry our lunar eclipse mix. That's two handfuls of pep pills washed down with a hearty swig of two-hour energy brew. The blast will send you through the stratosphere and the crash will knock you out gold guaranteed. Does Spacer Choice make you wear that? Add an additional 10% to your purchase today and the proceeds will be donated to Spacer Cares, our premier corporate welfare program. At Spacer's Choice, we care about your health and emotional well-being. That's why we put Martin through six years of vendor school only to make him wear this hat. Do you need me to help you get out of there? Even if my contract didn't forbid it, I think, uh, I think it's part of me now. Now, are you ready to make Spacer's Choice Lunar Green Moon Mouth Lozenges a part of you? Lunar Green, the future is Spearmint. We're starting to make progress here. I'm addressing the man beneath the hat mask. Are you okay? I, uh, you know, damn it. No slogan for that one. Uh, look, this hat, my job. It may not seem like much to a brave space captain, but they're all that I have. If there are self-made purgatories, then we all have to live in them. Mine can be no worse than someone else's. Now, if we're done with the chit-chat, I hope you don't mind if I make the most of this short life and try to be the best moon person I can be. I can help you shorten that life if you need me to help you with that. Sorry if I pushed you too hard, Martin. Would it help if I bought something? It's got weird. Goodbye for now. Sorry if I pushed you too hard, Martin. It's fine. I should be stronger than this. Thanks for taking an interest. Uh, speaking of interest, can I interest you in some quality budget goods? At Spacer's Choice, we cut corners so you don't have to. Let's see what you got. Or let, what do you sell here? Anything and everything. Whatever you want. We got it. And when you need a replacement, we got that too. Must be shoddy quality if it needs replacing. Oh, he's gonna have to rebut that immediately. Just the opposite. Spacer's Choice items are always new, hot off the shelves, because customers just can't stop buying new stuff. Oh, sorry. I got the line wrong. Y you want me to do it again? The line? It's a script. If I don't follow it to a T, I might lose my job. You want me to do it right? If you wouldn't mind. Spacer's choice items are always new, hot off the shelves, because customers just can't stop improving their lives with our fine products. You could go broke buying overpriced Aramid gear, or you could buy from us at a much more reasonable rate. These prices still seem steep to me. Sounds like Aramid gear won't break the first time you use it. Cheap crap versus good stuff, I get it. Let's go with uh, Aramid gear won't break the first time you use it. That's why you should get a backup or three. Become a frequent buyer. Join our friendship rewards program. Program currently unapproved in Alpha, rewards and friendship pending. All right, let's see what he has for sale. Have a look. We've run out of options. Merchant skill, okay. Equal to the value of your best dialogue skill and is used to negotiate prices when buying and selling from vendors. All right, so revolver, so he's got arms and ammo. How much is this? Uh, okay, I'm not too worried about that. We have plenty of ammo. Cheese, wow, he does have quite a bit of gear here. Whoa, he's got some nice helmets. How much are these? Probably way out of my price range. They're not that expensive. Hmm. Level five. Okay. Four. 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 These are all going to be the same, aren't they? Ten. A block plus five. There's no bonus on this one, though. Nine. Ten. Ten. Four. Moonman helmet. I get a uh, bonus to my life, though. Well, you have that on. 
Extendo site. That's pretty expensive. Let's see here. Speed grip. Mr. Ouch. Geographic scanner. Increases the range at which interactable objects are highlighted. That might be worthwhile. Nightingale step. Volume of footsteps down by 25 and radius of footsteps down by 25. Well, that's pretty good too. A thug kit. So these are armor mods, huh? Increases your melee and defensive skill modifications. So these are all locked. I can't get these. Mechanic overalls. Interesting. I might buy one of these helmets since they're pretty cheap. Let's buy one of those. And then I might buy melee weapon skill plus five. Hack plus seven. Ooh. I'll probably put that on what's his name. He's got a nine on armor. And then stealth skill. It's only a four armor though. It's pretty low. Yeah, let's go ahead and add one of these here. And then I will add let's see here. Melee weapon skills plus five. Defense skills plus okay. I like this one, Nightingale Step. Seems really nice. Let's get that. Just one. Oh, I can I can put it on. I can make my team quiet, huh? I think I'll just get one for now. I'll probably throw this on whoever likes to use the uh, melee weapons. I'm going to save my money right now, though. Okay. Let's see here. Can I do my modifications here, or do I have to do them at... I think I, I have to do them at the uh, workbench, don't I? Can't just do it right here. 17, 17. Yeah. But what I can do is I can go over here to character. Let's see. Where's my teammates at? I don't have my teammates with me? That kind of sucks. Apparently I left him behind. Let's head back to the ship. I want to add the sneak. Well, hell, I'm almost here. Might as well just go for it. All right, let's go deliver messages first, I guess. Oh, there it is. Medical Bay. You can't keep me out of there. Please don't make a scene, Dr. Fenhill. I am not making a scene. Okay. Not sure what that was all about, but... Oh, hey. Wow. Snuck up on me without even moving. Can't say I've seen you before. I take it you're a freighter, Captain? If you're here to better yourself, you'll have to wait. We're having a spot of trouble with our delivery service. Hmm. Wheeler, Wheeler told me to tell you to get off his ass about your shipment. Wheeler says your shipment won't be coming in soon. What's going on? Better myself. Is this the med bay? <laughs> uh, Wheeler said, uh, get off his ass about your shipment. Did he now? The mouth on that man. I swear his late mother'd be ashamed. He must be referring to Erion. I'm sure the fool's gotten himself into another scrape. I'm beginning to wonder if I'm ever going to get my service mechanicals at this rate. I could try to find him. Who's Arion? What do you need mechanicals for? I'd be grateful if you'd spare the time. We need his delivery soon as yesterday. 
Last he told me, he was taking a shortcut by Scylla, an asteroid in the Charybdis Cluster. That's where I'd start, were I the adventuring type. You look out, though. The place is probably crawling with outlaws. Hmm, okay. Keep hanging around, and I'll begin to think you're here for me. What can I do for you? Nothing for now. Have yourself a day, then. All right, well, we got an, ourselves a quest on another planet or asteroid or some sort of planetary type body. Let's see here. Let's go back here to the journal. Find Captain Urion on Scylla. All right. All right, let's introduce Parvati. I got to get back to the ship then. What's happening on Terra One? Can I fast travel there? No. Last I heard, the board was in dispute with the line of You've got your brunch right here. Going for a stroll around the docking base? Alright, let's get back on our ship here. How do we get back on our ship? This is where we started. You mind stepping back? This charming little ship's been impounded, and I'm afraid I can't let you near it till it's not. Can you help me get this cleared up? Don't you touch my ship. Does it seem hot in here to you? I'm off. I truly Can you help me get it cleared up? But that's just not my bailiwick. You'll want to have words with our representative here from the board, Mr. Udom Bedford. His office is on the promenade. Don't you touch my ship. Gosh. I wouldn't dream of it. Not unless I got to, and I don't see any reason why I'd gotta. Do you? Does it seem hot in here to you? I ain't felt so much as a tepid breeze in weeks. I hope Miss Chief Tennyson gets that fix soon. Whew. I'm starting to feel like a sisty roast in all this armor. I'm Have off. Have yourself a pleasant day. Okay. So I can't get back into my ship. Let's go and... Locate a security terminal. All right, let's not do that. Let's get our ship on inbound so I can get back to my companions. Yeah, let's do that first. How do I get in there? Hmm. Apparently I can't. Oh, that's the other one. Hold on. That's not what I want. That's what I wanted. Passage to anywhere. Main quest. That is Gladys. I just saw her. Shit. Can I talk to you, Gladys, through the wall? Ugh, I guess not. Almost. I gotta figure out how to get to her. Rest and go. Must be her area here. Bless my heart. A stranger come knocking on a poor old woman's door. You here for a particular reason? Or did the neighbors tell you how good my sugar cookies are? Made without a single natural ingredient or an oven. Just like store bought. Sounds delicious. She's so nice. Phineas sent me, said he could sell me a nav key to Stellar Bay. Let me see what you got for sale. Thanks for your time. Let's start with the first one, obviously. Those have been the height of illegality since Stellar Bay turned their noses up at the board. You and I could be thrown to the void. 14,000 experience points? Such a transaction. Lucky for us, Groundbreaker's a free port. We're outside of the board's control. 
for the time being at least. Now, I only have the one nav key, and they're hard to come by these days. It won't be cheap. If you find yourself lacking in the bits, I might have an opportunity you'd be interested in. Oh my gosh, 10,000 bits. I wish I would have known that before about armor and all kinds of goodies. Any chance of discount since Phineas sent me? Yeah, maybe my persuasion might work if I go down that road. No one's ever found my bits lacking. Hmm. Chance of discount. I'm going to ask for a discount. Phineas, that old kook. He was quite the dancer back in his prime, did he tell you? Real light on his feet. Light on his Real loafers. Light on the wallet, too. He still owes me a small fortune. Laws. Maybe I should charge you double. Jeez. Tell me about this opportunity. Well, I find I'm in need of a ship captain with a little moral flexibility. I'm your guy. It might be this could help out the groundbreaker, as well as earn some bits. But if you've got qualms... No qualms here. Let's hear about the details. What other jobs? What other jobs do you know about? No qualms here. Do you know Edna over in engineering? Not yet. Sweet as a pea, that one. On occasion, she'll pass along transmissions I might find interesting. She sent me a recording of a distress signal she'd scraped from the Groundbreaker's comm array. Curious thing is, it came from an outpost called Roseway. And Angie Cleo abandoned that place years ago. Hmm. Say no more, I'm in. Why is Ro Roseway abandoned? Maybe some sort of automated message. That's a good That's a good point. But I need to know why Roseway's been abandoned. Can't say I know for sure. Maybe it never really was. Those corpses are cleverer than all get out. Might have been a ruse to keep the rest of the board from sniffing around. Hmm. Maybe it's some sort of automated message. Edna didn't seem to think so. And I trust the dear girl's judgment. Well, maybe not in men, but she knows her comms. So like as not, someone's been down there recently. And if someone set up shop in Roseway, I'd wager they got something to hide. If it's corporate town with something to hide, why the SOS? Sounds like an opportunity, all right. If they're hiding something, will they be liable to shoot on sight? Yeah, if it's corporate town with something to hide, why the SOS? Maybe whatever they're hiding went to heck, and now they need a few spare hands to clean up the mess. If you should find a secret worth selling, might be I could find a buyer. Corporate bigwigs will pay top bit for inside information on their competitors. The more we got the corpse fighting each other, the less time they got to meddle in our affairs. Oh, it sounds like a Jurassic Park situation going on over there. Need someone to snoop around for you. My services don't come cheap. I can see where this is going. Count me out. Uh, my services don't come cheap. Neither do mine, dearie. Old Gladys knows the value of good work. You'll be compensated accordingly, I can promise you that. Should you find yourself responding to a certain distress call, and in so doing find yourself in possession of certain valuable corporate secrets, well, then we ought to have a chat over a pot of tea and my famous cookies. You can count me in, I'll stop by finding anything that sounds shady, no thanks. Uh, you can count me in. Oh, or you can count on me, sorry. Here's a copy of the SOS recording, complete with the coordinates. Don't forget to come find old Gladys when you're done. Don't say it like that. What other jobs do you know about? Let me see what you got. What other jobs do you know about? You might want to acquaint yourself with Junlei Tennyson, Groundbreaker's chief. She's been trying to get a handle on this heat problem we've got. You'll find her fretting in engineering. I'd say she's a sweet girl, but law for Fen, someone call me a liar. I'm gonna talk about opportunity mission. Let's see what we got to trade. Ask him, let's ask her about this opportunity. Yes, dearie. What do you want me to do again? Oh, we already got that. Take that darling ship of yours down to Roseway, where that distress signal I told you about came from, and ferret out some tasty corporate secrets for old Gladys. Well, my ship Shouldn't has been be impounded. For a fellow like you, I'd think. Let me see what you got for trade. I've got a lovely little throw pillow. Just something I toss together. Like to keep my hands busy. Is there actually a throw pillow in here? Weapons parts. 
You can pick. How many of these do I have? I wish it would show how many you had. You get nine percent discount because of my speaking ability. Toughened. Increases body armor and helmet armor rating against physical damage. Hmm. Magnum. Mag size increased by 50%. Fun times barrel. Haha. <laughs> That's a pretty good one. Yeah, I'm pretty good right now. Alright. Well, guys, just looking at the clock here, we're going to head on over to engineering, see if we can solve the heat problem inside of here. And uh, we'll do that in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. Y'all take care.